Uh, hey everybody, this is Randall from Florida, I'm a homesteader and my wife Michelle, the cameraman. Alright, so we have our meat chickens, we have our meat turkeys. We raised them in uh, different pens last year and we weren't happy with the situation that they were in. We decided to do something a little bit different. We're going to do this turkey tractor. Uh, so what you're looking at is 12 foot long, 8 foot wide, and then the supporting structure is three cattle panels we got from Tractor Supply. That's $25 for a panel, a roll of uh, chicken wire to cover that. We put some wheels on the back <clears throat> so that we can move it. And we put swivel wheels up underneath the braces in the front up here. And then when we tie our cord, we can move our tractor anywhere we want our tractor to go. So that every day, our birds are on fresh grass and uh, you don't have to worry about manure collecting and stinking and stuff like that so um, we just finished it took about six hours of effort to build out the chicken tractor two by fours pressure treated pine we got to put the tarp on it and we got a feeder that we're going to put in here an automatic feeder where we can just put a, a bag of feed in here a big uh, five gallon water will go in here and that way when we get ready to take trips for one or two days, we don't have to wor really worry about um, having fresh water and feed for our chickens and, and turkeys and it running out. So that's what we're going to do. We bought this tarp at Harbor Freight. You can get any color you want. We decided to go with green. 11 foot by 15. It's uh, 12 foot long. So we're going to be one foot short on the length. And then the tarp is 15 foot, but these cattle panels are 16. So the, the, the uh, tarp should come right down close to the edge. And that'll give them enough protection to keep them out of heavy rains and storms and stuff like that. They're not going to be completely waterproof. But um, if we decided we want to go a little bit more to shore them up a little bit better, then we'll do something different. But I think the tarp is going to be good enough. And from what I see, everybody else that is building these, they're just doing one tarp. And they're not, uh, not too many people are closing up and in. Uh, to keep them keep them out of the wind and out of the rain you got plenty of coverage underneath these trees that the trees themselves knock off a lot of the the uh, wind and the rain so mainly what they get is a lot of straight down rain underneath these trees and you can see right here along our back fence we got a lot of green grass and we're going to run our chickens along the perimeter of the yard we're not going to keep them out in the middle of the yard to uh, mess our grass up so we're going to run them right down to where the grass is thicker to get more brush over there and uh but the grass is still young and tender over there so that's what we're looking to do and we're gonna come back at you in just a minute and give you an update when we move to the next step everybody this is uh, Randall we're gonna do a closeout right here this is a final uh, look at our chicken tractor so again 12 foot long 8 foot wide three cattle panels chicken wire over the fat over the cattle panels and then a tarp over that uh, we got swivel wheels under the front so that we can swivel it around when when we move it and we have stationary wheels a lot more wheels on the back I got the wheels at Harbor Freight uh, total investment in this whole chicken tractor is about $200 um, for lumber and supplies. One of the other things I want to talk about is this feeder. I built a double-sided feeder because when meat birds uh, get bigger, they get lazy and they'll lay down right in front of the feeder and they won't move. So I put it where it's two foot long and it can feed from both sides of the trough. There's an inch and a half clearance at the opening and this will hold a 50 pound sack of feed. So this should last several days without us having to come out and feed and tend to them every single day. Especially if we want to go on vacation or go out of town uh, or be away for more than just a couple hours or a day. We don't have to worry about it with this feeder. We have a five gallon water that we bought. 
It's got this little rubber float valve at the bottom that uh, you can shut it whenever you're moving the moving around so it, um, it doesn't water doesn't rush out when you're refilling it. Fifty dollars for this water, and uh, the ten years I've been keeping chickens, this is probably the best water I've ever had. And I wish I'd have bought one a long time ago. I've never seen one like this before, but uh, we'll be buying another one. One for the chickens and one for the turkeys. But um, this is it. This is where they're going to be for now until we decide that turkeys and chickens can no longer be in the same pen. Then we'll probably take the uh, meat chickens out and just leave the meat turkeys in here because this was originally meant for them anyway. Alright, so don't forget to like us on YouTube if this is your first time seeing us on Facebook or something like that. Go to uh, YouTube and subscribe. And um, if you got any questions, leave us a comment. We'll answer it. Yeah. All right. Well, hope you enjoyed the little quick video.